Hello, my name is Mauricio Gomez and today I'm going to talk about a global information society. A global information society is broken up into four parts. The first part is the creation. You have to create something. An example of this would be a set of instructions or a word document. The second part would be distribution, sharing this information, such as putting it on a website, writing an email to someone else, or maybe explaining it on an application. The third part is the usage, gathering this information, doing some data analysis on this information for marketing or other purposes. The last part of a global information society is integration and manipulation. Some examples of integration and manipulation would be matching patterns, replacing text, or comparing multiple values. The whole purpose of a global information society is to gain a competitive advantage. The responsibilities of an information professional will fall under any of these three categories. The first one is preserving. An example of preserving will be updating a database or a website or an application to make sure the information earned is concurrent and up to date. The second category is organization. An example of organization will be having an index on a website so you can pinpoint the information you need quickly and accurately. The third category is disseminate. Disseminate is to share the information with others. This is using the internet or using databases. You can also use email to share this information with others. So it's passed on from person to person. Information professionals will not have one type of role or set of skills, but in fact have a number of specializations. And those are the factors that make up a global information society.